Okay, so don't forget this is a garden guide day. Everything's on five easy pays on air and online. And we're going to talk now about these beautiful combo three in one combo butterfly bushes from Philip Watson. This is our only order of the season. Um, Philip has done three in ones before, but this is the first time we've done a compact tidy version of a butterfly bush with three different colors in one. So yes. when you get these, they're already a mature plant. I'll show you what you're getting in a second, but that means they're going to get to their full size this year. Let me repeat that full size this summer in these three in ones, which means they're going to look like what you're seeing here on the set in this giant pot. You don't have to wait for that till two summers from now. They're going to get about three feet tall, three feet wide this season. And yes. Philip, I get all three yes, colors in here. You get all three colors. It is a living flower arrangement that's perennial, but so comes back every year. And people have always bought these in, in pairs because they're great in containers on either side of an entrance or on either end of a flower border, like your bookends for everything else. The butterflies, the hummingbirds, and a lot of uh, some of the three-in-ones that you've seen or combos, they're the larger sized ones. They also have those large clumpy looking leaves. Mm -hmm. If you look closely, you can see how the foliage is in scale with the bloom. That's a big deal to me. I want the foliage to look delicate uh, and that's what it looks like. It's real feathery looking and the blooms themselves are eight to 10 inches long um, and they smell like vanilla extract. I mean, it's fabulous. So if you pull some of these off or flip some of these off for your flower arrangements, and you use them with your Brenda Bella roses, which are very fragrant. You've got a fabulous arrangement for your house that's extremely fragrant. But these come back every year. These are guaranteed to uh, cause people to say, what did you do? How did you get three different colors to grow on the same shrub? And you say, I'm just that kind of a gardener. Uh, OK, so I want to show everybody yeah. the shipping sample that they're getting, which is already big and ready to go. Yes. So, Philip, um, what's the advantage to to shipping these mature plants? I mean, obviously, people are going to get something that's already going when it comes out of the box. Yes, exactly. Uh, it, it, we're, my whole deal with Philip Watson Designs is I wanted to ship bigger plants uh, than we had uh, because we have a lot of brand new gardeners. Uh, and if you're a brand new gardener, you're not sure how to baby something that's small and you might not be successful. I want to give you your best chance for success by shipping you out better plants, bigger plants, uh, and easier to care for plant plants that look like this. I mean, it's just a fantastic look for someone who's not a gardener. This will be very easy for you. These will also grow in poor soil like daylilies do. Uh, and critters do not get on these. I've not had any problems with that. The butterflies and hummingbirds will be about it. And they're great for a cut flower garden. Uh, so if you've got a cut flower garden or a butterfly garden, this should be the centerpiece for either one of those gardens. You get the big half gallon plant. Uh, I just I just can't say enough about them. I wouldn't be without them because they're fabulous. We're showing the pictures of individual colors, but Philip, these are all three in one pot. But That's you're, correct. What, you what, don't have to do that. Right. What you're seeing is what Philip has already done for you, combining these individual varieties into one pot. So you're getting that beautiful Orchid Annie, which is that lighter purple color. Uh, yes. The other ones are called Little Angel, which is yes. the white. And then the Magenta Munchkin, which is this really pretty fuchsia color, which is gorgeous. And Philip, let's not forget, butterflies love blue flowers, don't they? Well, they will love every one of these. In fact, when I've been out cutting um, the butterfly bush flowers for an arrangement, I'll drop a few on the ground. And when I go back to cut more, the butterflies are on the blooms yeah. that are on the ground. Yeah. That's what they do. And it's low, low maintenance. And if you're a first time gardener, you've never gardened before, and you're picking up a few things today, let me encourage you to pick up the other easy, easy plants. Now, we got the butterfly bushes going on here, and you might consider picking up some daylilies because they grow both grow in poor soil. Just fabulous colors, low maintenance, high interest gardening, and the butterfly bush 
with it being only two and a half, three feet tall max, and that round is just just a handsome, handsome look. I love it. I mean, I, I would. To I know the petunias have sold out, but those would be so pretty in pots around this plant because of the same great purpley pink combination that you got there, that corally blue. Um, yes. I would love this with um, you know any other type of butterfly attracting or um, the the uh, the little bumblebees, all the plants that love nectar. Um, they absolutely love these. And you will see butterflies get so distracted by these flowers that you can walk right up on top of them and take photographs, super extreme close-ups. They don't care. They're completely enthralled with these blooms. And if you're creating, yes. I know, um, the last few years, people have been very interested in creating butterfly gardens and creating more of a habitat for butterflies, especially monarchs that have been losing yes. um, a lot of their um, habitat around the country. And uh, these aren't particularly a monarch type of, um, of of flower, but monarchs and all butterflies will love them. And they will. And it's kind of like the centerpiece of your butterfly garden. Hey, Philip, if I was going to do a butterfly garden, what are a couple of other things I would put in there? Well, you could have the salvias in there. They love salvias. Mm -hmm. If you wanted something up on a pole, you could do some honeysuckle up on a pole, uh, and they love that. Uh, also, um, the sedum, if you picked up my sedum mat, um, they have low flowers, and that's great to plant in the front edge of a border because they bloom all summer long, and the butterflies come to that too, low maintenance again. I love it. They're so pretty. And remember, everybody, this is the first time Philip has done a combination of colors in a compact size. So this is not going to be that crazy 10 foot tall butterfly bush that constantly invades everything and, and you need <laughs> to trim it. This is going to stay three by three. It's going to yes. get that size this year. You're going to get lots of foliage, no legginess, and all three colors of these gorgeous flowers from yes. just one beautiful butterfly plant. So stay in the ordering process for those. We have our only order of the season, and these are five payments of just $4.19.